Para la Rugby World Cup 2023, una nueva regla va a ser introducida. Si el partido termina en empate, luego del tiempo extra, eh, habrán tiros a los postes. Hoy estamos acá en Montevideo, en el Estadio Charrúa, para jugar y practicar este, esta nueva regla. Vamos, vamos a jugar ahí y a disfrutar un poco. Right, time for the captains to pick their teams. What do we think? Heads or tails? Rock, paper, scissors? Uh, no, we're going to do this instead. Not seen it before. It, it looks fun. Um, I'd say it's building the tension. No idea how this is going to end, what it means, but we have a winner. Uh, Juan Sucarino, the strapping young centre. Who's he going to choose first for Team Juan? Looks like he's going for Matteo Sanguinetti. Props an odd choice for a first pick. Maybe he knows something we don't. Team Felipe go for Guillermo Pujarras. He's a confident man, isn't he? Team Juan go for Santiago Silveta. Team Felipe go for second row Manuel Lendeca. Team Juan going for centre Juan Manuel Alonso. Team Felipe, it's centre, Nicolas Freitas. And the final picks. Juan goes for winger, Baltazar Amaja. And Felipe goes for flanker, Diego Ardao. Good luck next time. So here are the final teams. Team one looking like a force to be reckoned with. And team two, a lot of key players as well. This one could be too close to call. Let's get to it. So first up for Team Juan is the big flanker, Santiago Civetta. A couple of big side steps there. The team looking nervous. Silence for the kicker, please. Oh, goodness, the ball stop on over already. Drama from the start. Those South American winds really playing a part. And, uh, well, he is a flanker. Want to be careful he doesn't kick his head off. Um, this is going to take some guile and poise. Takes the kick. No. Oh, it's a bad miss. Teammates not looking best, please. Not the start they were hoping for. First up for Team Felipe, confident young hooker, Guillermo Pajadas. Oh dear, a bit of foul play there. Let's uh, keep it clean, please, boys. Big intake of breath to calm the nerves and, uh, oh, a little uh, bit of salsa in the funky run-up. And here we go, steps up to the plate, takes the kick, it sails through. That's 1-0, Team Felipe. Game is on. Team Juan. It's prop for Matteo Sanguinetti. Delicately places the ball. It's a straightforward run up. Straight through the ball. And it's over. That will do. They're onto the board. <laughs> Team Felipe now then with Manuel Lendecar. He's a tall man. He even rises to get another little look over those posts. It's a wide stance as the boot goes through, but he doffs his cap because that puts them back into the lead. 2-1 now, Team Felipe have it. Can we be pleased with that? He's got plenty of people to thank, hasn't he? Now back with Team Juan, winger Baltazar Amaja. He was the last one chosen, but he's gonna go third in this challenge. Training his eyes from the post down to the ball as the others watch on, smiles on faces. Will they be smiling at the end? Oh dear! <laughs> Off the upright. Let's have another little look at that. Denied by the woodwork. That's not what Team Juan needed. Now for Team Felipe, Diego Ardal. What can he do here? Can he keep up the perfect record that has gone before him? Got the assistance on the teammate. Oh, it's another one through. It's exemplary from Team Felipe. And he celebrates. You can understand why. So three successful kicks to one for Team Felipe. Team Juan have to make this kick to stay in it. And it's down to the youngster Juan Manuel Alonso. Plenty of chat going into this one. No amount of conversation can help this go through. He's not taking much of a run up either, is he? This huge tension. They've got to get this to stay in. Hooked it! Team Felipe for the win, a momentous moment in history. Well, if Uruguay get to the knockout stages this Rugby World Cup, I know who I'm picking in my fantasy team. Look at that, a team of winners. What a performance. Stay tuned for more Ultimate Rugby Challenges soon. Stay attentive for more Ultimate Rugby Challenge.